Beyond Wrestling. This is Denver, Colorado, the man, not the place. And thanks to our friends at ISW, Interspecies Wrestling, we're able to present to you a king of crazy. No, I said that wrong. An undisputed king of crazy title defense coming to you courtesy of the sexual spider monkey, Pinky Sanchez, the current reigning and defending king of crazy. Going to be going one on one for the first time ever against the Juice, JT Dunn. Of course, every time we see JT Dunn in a Beyond Wrestling ring, it seems as though he's getting better and better. But ever since Pinky Sanchez has won that undisputed King of Crazy Championship, he has been damn near unstoppable. <laughs> Let's see if JT Dunn can wrestle it away from Pinky Sanchez, and you'd have to think that even though this match is taking place at Beyond Wrestling, if JT Dunn is able to win an interspecies wrestling title, he's going to be able to secure himself some future bookings with that organization. And you know as a champion, he's getting an extra payday with that. What is Pinky Sanchez doing right here? He's going under the ring, but there's not a ring skirt to uh, disguise his whereabouts. We can see him. I know where he is. There, there. He's on camera right now. JT Dunn looking for him. Now he sees him up on the apron. Not sure what Pinky Sanchez's strategy is right here. Perhaps he's going to be looking to get in the, into the head of his opponent, JT Dunn, try and psych him out and throw JT Dunn off his game. Pinky Sanchez with boundless energy. One of the most exciting performers here in Beyond Wrestling. And let's not take anything away from Pinky Sanchez either. I mean, he's a competitor that has spent a good number of years in promotions like CCW, Chikara, Dragon Gate, Evolve, and now he's here at Beyond Wrestling. Pinky Sanchez pretty well traveled in the United States. Let's see how that experience may come into play against the youthful exuberance of JT Dunn. JT Dunn able to find a counter out of that side headlock, taking the feet out from underneath Pinky Sanchez. Well, he's got those legs grapevine, mocking Pinky Sanchez with that mood of pose. Transitioning into that waist lock, but taking too much time to do so. Does not have Pinky Sanchez in a position where he can maintain control. You see that short side headlock takeover from Pinky Sanchez. JT Dunn at risk of having his shoulders pinned to the mat. Now the official checking to see. JT Dunn wants to give it up instead. A reversal of the position. That sexy mood of Pinky Sanchez. Bringing JT Dunn back in a position with that side headlock. JT Dunn able to slip out the back door. Now he's trying to get that arm barred while raining down some elbows. And again, JT Dunn with a third elbow to the face of Pinky Sanchez. Trying to press those arms down to the mat, but Pinky Sanchez a kick out with authority. Now we see JT Dunn going to that waist lock once again. An unusual way to apply this hold. And as a result, Pinky Sanchez able to pick away at the left arm before transitioning to the leg of JT Dunn. Now he's got that knee tied up. Just driving all of his body's weight back, trying to loosen up some of the ligaments, some of the tendons, damage some of the cartilage in the knee. One of the most delicate parts of the human body. And Pinky not letting up. Whatever minor damage he has to do to himself to drive his body's weight down to the canvas, you better believe it, it's effective tenfold in the knee of JT Dunn. And ever since Pinky Sanchez linked up with Beyond Wrestling, we've really seen him adapt a more methodical style where he tries to target the legs of his opponent before capitalizing, utilizing that figure four leg lock to put them away. Now Pinky Sanchez with a, a stop to the knee at JT Dunn. Dunn respires, excuse me, responds with an elbow. Firing back once again. Oh, that straight shot to the knee. And I'll tell you what, the leg is not designed to bend that way. That doesn't mean that it can't with a little added force. Give the credit to Pinky Sanchez. Once again, with all of his body's weight, just driving JT Dunn's knee into a very awkward position on the canvas. And Dunn, we see, having to use those ropes to try and pull himself up to a vertical base. Trying to break free from the clutches of Pinky Sanchez. Caught him with that elbow, and again! JT Dunn's looking for that knockout blow. Now going for the pendulum backbreaker. 
dropped him on the right knee, but nevertheless, still feeling the effects of the damage done to the left one. Only able to keep Pinky Sanchez down for two seconds. Not enough to win a match. JT done with a kick right to the spine, again using that right leg. Stumbling into the corner, where Pinky Sanchez is met with a boot. Now kicking him right in the ass. Pinky Sanchez up to a vertical base. And that's exactly what JT wants. Stalking him to the opposite corner. Because he's going to want to hit. He's going to hit Pinky Sanchez with all of his forearms. He's only going to be able to do it if Pinky Sanchez is standing up. But Pinky Sanchez leaving the ring. Trying to break up some of the momentum. Now JT down. Saying you want to hit me. Come hit me on the floor. JT Dillon wants to keep the match in the ring. Pinky's looking to get crazy on the outside. Oh, JT Dunn asking Pinky Sanchez, you want to get crazy? That was a pretty crazy punch. Oh, that was a pretty crazy forearm. Oh, JT Dunn responds with another shot. Pinky staggered right here. Caught him with the elbow right to the point of the air. Pinky's fired up. Well, look at the boot out of JT Dunn. Oh, Pinky responded with one of his own. You hear the official asking these two crazy wrestlers to bring the action back into the ring. Slap from JT Dunn. Oh! But taken off his feet. And that time, the damage done to the right leg with that dragon screw leg whip onto the concrete. Pinky favor on the side of his head. But grabbing JT Dunn by his hair to try and bring it back into the ring. No, I lied. He wanted to smash him face first in the hardest part of the ring. It worked once. Why not try it again? Now with that side headlock applied, when you control the head, you can control the body. And send a JT Dunn face first into that garage door. You've seen a number of competitors and successful in utilizing their surroundings today here at the CCW Wrestling Academy. Right on the corner of West Rittner. Across from the legendary ECW arena. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? That looks like some plastic shelving. Pinky can't break that. That's not his to break. He's got it set up on the floor. What is he looking to do? JT Dunn doesn't want to find out. Comes charging him with that punch. It's Pinky Sanchez is looking for more plunder. Now JT Dunn gets that right knee up, connects to the face of Pinky Sanchez, punching him right underneath the chin. Are you guys gonna wrestle on that? JT Dunn picking apart this plastic structure, trying to minimize the damage that Pinky can do. Oh no, I lied. Now he's bringing it into the ring. Oh, but taking too much time caught right in the small of the back with that steel chair. Pinky throwing that chair in the ring. Pinky's looking to get a little more crazy. And there we see the first ass attack of the match. Pinky Sanchez guaranteeing that things are going to get real fucking crazy in a few seconds. What does he... What? He's got this plastic shelving propped up diagonally. Oh my God, he's gonna power bomb? JT Dunn on that? I don't think so. JT Dunn with a sense of urgency, putting on the brakes, trying to protect himself. Now, we see Pinky Sanchez with those arms butterfly, perhaps looking for a Dave Cole bomb. But JT Dunn with the reversal. Oh! And that plastic shredding under the weight of Pinky Sanchez, that could cut him up from the butt up. JT Dunn dragging himself into position. And while this match just got crazy, it wasn't enough to finish off Pinky Sanchez. Now JT Dunn with one of those plastic shards. Oh, just jabbed it right on the top of the head of Pinky Sanchez. 
looking to cut open his opponent. Oh! But one of the legs from this plastic structure taken and driven into the midsection of JT Dunn. Now across the back. Sanchez back in the driver's seat. And now attacking the left leg. That was the one that he did the majority of the damage to at the start of the contest. Raining down blows. And now going after the white knee. Pinky Sanchez is going to see to it that JT Dunn can never walk again. Dunn having to use his upper body strength to get up to that vertical base. Not going to be able to stand on his two legs without holding on to something through all the damage that's been done. Pinky Sanchez, perhaps looking for an Irish whip, lays in that chop. And again, JT Dunn holding on to that top rope, trying to get away from Pinky Sanchez as fast as he can. It's not fast enough. What a shot from JT Dunn. Well, Pinky not backing down, not giving JT Dunn the separation he was hoping for. Once again, perhaps looking for the Irish whip. This time he gets it. You see JT Dunn stumbling across the ring. He was able to avoid contact. Responds with a chop. Now rubbing that forearm across the face of Pinky Sanchez. Lighting up the chest with a scintillating chop. And kicking him. Square in the mouth just for good measure. Is that going to be enough? No. So far a lot of back and forth action in this match. Mickey Sanchez put the reversal on the Irish whip. That shining Heine in the corner. Take it JT Dunk down with the face crutcher. But with so much force behind it, JT Dunn spiked on the top of his head. Dunn's on Dream Street right here, and Pinky Sanchez popping right back up to his feet and catching JT Dunn on the side of the head with his heel. Now hopping to position that second row moonsault. Dunn with eyes in the back of his head, able to get out of the way, and Pinky Sanchez might be out of it. Dunn with the legs hooked. Pinky kicking out. Dunn rolling right over. I don't know if he's got the leg strength to pop at the hips to connect with the German suplex. Wow. Dunn digging deep right there. You got to think that if JT Dunn was wrestling at 100% right here, if he had full strength in both of those legs, he would have been able to maintain a bridge, and that could have been enough to put Pinky Sanchez away. Instead, this match continuing. JT Dunn successfully sending Pinky Sanchez from pillar to post. Elevated up and over. I think that's gonna hurt with all of his body's weight coming down with those knees. A springboard in the ring, taking Pinky Sanchez down with that sucking bomb. Is that gonna do the trick? One, two, no! Dunn getting closer and closer. You almost gotta wonder if he's gonna be looking for that wheelbarrow into the lung blower that he utilized to finish off so many of his opponents here at Beyond Wrestling. Or if he's even gonna be able to hit a maneuver like that with the damage done to his legs. Now looking to elevate Pinky Sanchez up, spinning him around, and he dropped him with that blue thunder backcracker. But keep in mind, all of his opponent's body weight coming down on those knees, struggling to get in a position. Can he do it here? He can. Pinky's just too crazy. Don pulling him into position. Once again, trying to bring him back up to his feet. No, oh, this time, looking for that double underhook power bomb. Known as the Dave Cole bomb, a tiger driver. Call it what you will! Killed him! That was not a normal DDT. Pinky Sanchez. I can't believe JT Dunn kicked out of that. Pinky Sanchez grapevined his legs. So when he came down, his opponent was carrying all of his body's weight. 
double the speed, double the impact of a normal DDT. But JT Dunn proving to be double tough. This match is gonna keep going on, but for how much longer? Ricky Sanchez stalking his opponent, grabbing him by the ponytail, risking disqualification before positioning him hard up on that top rope. That shot to the lower back. And a drop kick to the top of the head. Great elevation from Pinky Sanchez. JT Dunn able to, unable to free himself. You gotta think of all that pressure on the right leg. Oh, way to position for the shining Heine. Walking up the ropes, dropping all of his body's weight. Head first. I should say ass first onto the head of JT Dunn. One, two, three. I've never seen Pinky Sanchez hit the booties for breakfast from that position. And I can't say that I've seen many men kick out of that hold either. JT Dunn, where's he finding the energy? Pinky coming off the ropes. A boot of his own. Dunn with the kick. I don't know if Pinky can match him at his own game. He, Pinky needs to be targeting the legs. Ducks out of the way. The clothesline cut him with that super kick. The rebound, right to that rolling forearm. And that turned Pinky Sanchez inside out. But I think that JT Dunn might be running on fumes at this point in the match. He looks spent. Dunn, did he take too much time? Yes. If he was able to get into that lateral press a little bit quicker, he might have been able to beat Pinky Sanchez and become the new ISW. Undisputed King of Crazy Champion. This late in the game, you gotta think that JT Dunn's gonna be looking for that wheelbarrow, excuse me, that wheelbarrow into a lung blower, but instead, bring it Piggy Sanchez to the top rope, kick it right in the side of the jaw. Unbelievable extension on that kick, especially when you consider how painful it must be for JT Dunn to connect with a maneuver like that. Uh-oh, I don't know what JT Dunn's looking to do right here. Perhaps a superplex, but he's gonna muscle Pinky Sanchez in a position. Easier said than done. Ah! The DDT on the top rope! And coming ass first, sandwiching his opponent between the canvas and his body's weight. And that's enough for Pinky Sanchez to pick up the victory. Another successful defense of the Interspecies Wrestling King of Crazy Championship. Great, great, great effort from JT Dunn. One of the best outings we've seen from JT Dunn as a singles wrestler here at Beyond Wrestling. No longer under the tutelage of John Harder and the Professional Revolution. No longer teaming with Mark Sherman. And on his own, he brought Pinky Sanchez to the limit. But Pinky Sanchez is the winner. And yes, that means that he still is the undisputed king of crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy.